22nd of December 2021. This is Sergey Baklikov. It's already the second day of winter, like of the official winter, which is in Russia starts from the 1st of December. And uh, probably the coldest day in St. Petersburg in this season. It's uh, minus nine degrees Celsius today, uh, which is about 15 Fahrenheit. Well, still, still, it's not like too cold by too cold by Russian standards. However, that's already cold enough. Actually, at the beginning of December in Saint Petersburg, it's like really, it's really cold uh, compared to, I mean, colder, really colder compared to the previous years, and uh, way more snowy. Two days ago, if you remember, I was making the live stream. Uh, it was on. Uh, Monday nights, like almost Tuesday, uh, here just for one night, fallen one third norm of uh, the monthly expected monthly snow level. Okay. Well, well, the previous the previous winters were really warm. The average temperature was only minus one, plus one degrees Celsius. And uh, two years ago, let's say, there wasn't any snow at all. But every year is a little bit different. So this year, finally, we have a lot of snow. Yeah. However, the uh, city service, they're working on us. Recently, more than 800 cars. 800 tracks are working to clean up this city and you see actually actually it's okay like it's all completely cleared here but look it was really ridiculous yesterday we into the stream came inside russia and he literally was winning about the fact that Okay, they removed the snow, but never cleared it until asphalt. That was so freaking ridiculous. That was ridiculous, okay? So he expected that for like about 24 hours after a huge, huge, huge snowfall, they had to clear it off until the asphalt. That's ridiculous, ridiculous, you hear me? Okay, but uh, let's get to what, what is today. Today, right now, we go to the place, it's a music restaurant, which is called Noisia River. I was there last year. Uh, I was taking you there like maybe uh, two or three times. Now came the time to get back. It's a music restaurant where they are uh, playing the live music every day. Every day from Monday to Sunday, no matter what it is, starting from 8 p.m. I was taking you there, so I'm taking before and uh, taking again. And uh, for the first time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film the performance of the uh, local blues band, one of the most prominent blues bands. It is called Forest Gump. Forrest Gump and together with them Uncle Misha who will play sax okay so uh, even though they are existing since 1999 I actually never got to listen to them live yet they are the guys who uh, who claim that they are playing a nice classic old-school blues so we're now gonna check it out Hi everybody guys. Exploring with this windows, Michael Natalie. Hi, hi guys, and congratulations with the first street live stream. Uh, it was 3 a.m. my time, so I never got to watch this live, but uh, I actually saw the notification later when I woke up. Congratulations.
Manfred Bismarck, Trev Mack, The Phil We Know, Terry Mitchell, Jeff Dutchman, Bridge and Tunnel Scooter Club, Donald Duck, David Lamp, Make Russia Great Again, Hi, Hi Ronalds, You Would Change the Name Again, Jeff, Barry Breen, All the Sun, Scott Wheeler, Shy C. Hi guys, hi guys. So this is how we are getting to Nevsky Prospect. Nevsky Prospect, the main street of the city of St. Petersburg. Come on guys. 707 local time. We must be in the place before the end of this hour because the uh, Forrest Gump and Uncle Misha performance will be started at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. local time, St. Petersburg. Hello, Jan Carizzi. Good morning to California. Good evening from St. Petersburg. Also, I'm gonna meet there uh, the uh, Ronalds. Goddamn tube skate Ronalds. He also wanna come there to listen some blues. Hello, Anthony Lori. Hi, Anthony. What happened to Jay Lewis? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay with Jay Lewis. Soon we'll get back. Now I just have a lot of things to do. You need to respect Jay Lewis time. Yeah, what about Ronald? Ronald, yeah, you all love listening to his stories about the girls he is um, communicating with. Maybe today he will have some time to tell about, to tell more about it. Especially if there is something to tell about. So the restaurant where we go, considered as music restaurant, it's called Noisy River, it is located on the embankment of Fantanka River and uh, the, uh, the, the, music, the music format there, it's uh, uh, blues, jazz and soul. Well today there will be some blues, blues from Forrest Gump, yes the band called Forrest Gump and Uncle Misha. It's a uh, rush hour in St. Petersburg now. Yesterday I also started streaming from 7 o'clock and I told you that from 7 to 8 it's probably the busiest time intersection of uh, Suvorovsky Prospect and Nevsky Prospect. I like the hi-hat club also. Well, it's not hi-hat, it's just hat. The hat, not hi-hat, okay? Suvorovsky Prospect. Yeah, in the heads, they have the uh, the live music 
absolutely every day as well. But I love bringing you the variety, the variety of the stuff. Like yesterday, we just were walking in the first day of winter. Today we go to the music restaurant to listen to some live blues. Tomorrow I will go to the hockey game, KHL hockey game, the SKA, SKA, the KHL club of St. Petersburg will play against Jokerit from Finland, okay? So I'm gonna film that and uh, on Saturday, on Saturday there's a traditional Saturday Night Live and then the house music the house music live stream dj live stream where i will play the most interesting house tracks painstakingly selected from millions okay here i have to wait for 95 seconds yet so meanwhile, let me show you once again Moskovsky Vokzal, Moskovsky Railway Station. At the 24th of December 2021 from here, I will go to Moscow on my way to Ufa. Ufa is the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia and my hometown. That's where my big family still living there my parents my wife's parents you know some of my other relatives my old buddies they are still living there so that's why for the new year for the new year i go there together with my family but i will go to moscow at the 24th of december and uh, my family will come only at the 26th because my daughter will still study at school and uh, they will have something like uh, class party the party with your class martin a you know or new year's party and uh, so uh, that's why they will come to moscow only at the 26th and then at the 28th uh all together we will go to ufa i will be in ufa at the lunchtime at about lunchtime 28th of uh, december okay uh, from here to Moscow, I will get for only 3 hours 15 minutes. On the most of the way, there's LTE internet is working. So, uh, yeah, there's uh, uh, the car restaurant. So it's like always you can go to the uh, separate car where you can buy the stuff or you can just, uh, you know, order it and uh, the stewardess there will bring it to you. So, uh, yeah, so they accept the uh, bank cards right there. It's cool, it's cool. And uh, now, way beforehand, the uh, ride, the ticket is actually pretty cheap. Only 2,800 rubles, which is, I don't know, which is less, a little bit, a little bit less than 40 bucks. A little bit less than 40 bucks. And, uh, there's actually like cheaper airline tickets but look i have to pay like about nine ten bucks to get to the airport pulkova airport from here and uh, i will have to come way beforehand and then i will land to the airport of moscow no matter which airports all of them are a little bit distant from moscow and it also it's another money so it's more time and money and after all, this is the cheapest and the fastest option. Sometimes the Subsun tickets, that's how is that high-speed train called, Subsun, uh, can be ridiculously expensive. But usually that happens when you buy the ticket like for maybe two, three days before the, uh, uh, before the departure and uh, let's say in a high season. So there's only a few places, let's say in a business, or first class left and they can easily cost like 500 600 bucks okay when normally it's like maybe 35 bucks 
okay? But normally you just need to plan everything beforehand, especially if it's about the high season, okay? So this is Ligovsky Prospect. Again, I've got to the long traffic light. Have to wait for another 65 seconds. All the sun, family, enjoy, cheers. the guys are working on snow the guys are working on snow big time so that was really ridiculous for inside Russia yesterday to come and uh, complaining winning literally not even about that the snow removes the snow removed but that it is not removed until the asphalt I mean that's ridiculous that's ridiculous. That's too far-fetched. Or it was just a complex of uh, Moscovites. You know about the complex of Moscovite? The Moscovites loves to bite St. Petersburg. Like all the time, like all the time to bite, to sting St. Petersburg and to say, how not that good it is, especially compared to Moscow. <laughs> Meanwhile, Moscow is with a huge flow uh, comes all the time for a weekend to St. Petersburg and the uh, many Moscovites now uh, buying off the apartments here in St. Petersburg in order just to have the place where every weekend they may come and uh, to have a place to stay in their own place instead of like all the time every time pay for the hotels same they are doing in Sochi the town of Sochi. Vastania Street. And look, he was complaining that the snow never cleaned off until the asphalt. Well, in our case, it's a sidewalk tile. Look at this. There just was need more time to work on it. So that was just a far-fetched complaint. So, Nevsky Prospects, uh, soon I will be leaving to Vladimirsky, Vladimirsky Prospect. Because Vladimirsky Prospect, Vladimirsky Avenue. It is called so because it is staying next to the Our Lady of Vladimir Church. It's the official translation, but if literally to translate it uh, from Russian to English, it will be like the uh, 
Vladimir's Mother of Gods icon, the icon of the Vladimir's Mother of Gods church, okay? Mediterranean food, Greek tavern, Syrtaki, Syrtax. Okay, again here I'm getting to the freaking, uh, freaking red light. Okay, well we have a plenty of time yet. Hello Neil McDonald, hello Anna Titan. Hi everybody who keep joining this live stream. We are on the way to Noisy River restaurants, music restaurants. It is located on the embankment of Fantanka River. Yeah, that's what probably makes that river noisier because every, every freaking night, starting from 8 p.m. from Monday to Sunday, there's the live music, mostly blues, jazz, soul, like today. There's blues from the band, one of the most prominent blues bands in St. Petersburg existing since 1999, uh, Forrest Gump, and uh, together with them there will be uh, Uncle Misha. Misha is like Mikhail, some kind of Michael, like Mikhail Bensman, you know? Mikhail Bensman, one of our uh, regular viewers. Hello, big Rory Holler, Joshua Poe. Finish the crosswalk. Dmitry Shostakovich neighborhood. Hello Sandy, hello Sherry Vasquez, welcome to St. Petersburg and uh, I invite you all to enjoy the upcoming concerts from Forrest Gump and Uncle Misha. Yeah, I purchased the tickets online, well normally by day you don't need to pay for the entrance but in the evening, you need to pay uh, for the entrance tickets. And this is some kind of like booking. You're making booking. You buy a certain place where you will sit. And uh, the entrance ticket is only like eight bucks. Eight bucks and a certain, certain table. You, res you reserve the certain table. I feel we know, looking forward to the concerts. Okay, we go there. Yeah, now more, more and more often you can meet the New Year's or Christmas melodies. Well, we say New Year's. Yesterday I told you that here in Russia, mostly all this periods we call the New Year's period because for the reason most of Russians are an Orthodox Christians the Orthodox Christmas is coming at the, at the 7th of January and uh, already after all the New Year's holidays considered as exceptionally religious holiday it's just uh, when people go at night for the Christmas service in the churches
ABCDIC great cultural value. That's correct. Exploring with us, Winos. Thank you for super chats. Excited for some just in this winter wonderland. Uh, thanks for the fantastic Russian win winter coverage. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. And uh, I also enjoyed the uh, New Year's streets yesterday in Philadelphia. So it seems like you now came to visit your family in Philadelphia. You can check out Exploring with Azwino's first live stream from the street. Okay, so on this intersection, now I will turn to the left to Vladimirsky Prospect. Vladimirsky Avenue. The Soviet cafe. Hello, Highland Place. Okay, so the intersection of three avenues Nevsky, Litini, and Vladimirsky. We turn to Vladimirsky. Come on. 7.30 and uh, another 30 minutes in another 30 minutes we already have to be in the restaurant noisy river well some of you maybe remember that because it's like already going to be not the first coverage but we never got to see but we never got to see uh, the forest gump and uh, uncle misha yet And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, finally the first KHL Continental Hockey League game that I will cover in this KHL season. SKA, the uh, hockey club of St. Petersburg. SKA, what means SKA, Sport Club of Army. Yeah, historically it's called so. Uh, Sport Club of Army, SKA, will play against Jokirit from Finland. Yeah, not everybody loves hockey games. Not everybody loves blues. Not everybody loves house music. But uh, I'm telling you from the very beginning of my live streams that I love the variety. Just whenever I can, I'm bringing you the variety of the stuff. Different stuff. But my favorite part is uh, the road trips, of course, which I'm making in the summer. That's how for the last 16, 17 months, I've made it to 60 cities and towns that I introduced to you. We were walking in all of them. Yes, Samara, Ulyanovsk, Sviyarsk, Kazan, Chubaksari, Nizhny Novgorod. Moscow, Rostov the Great, Sergiev Passat, 
Ivanova, Yaroslavl, Kostroma, Vladimir, Suzdal, Magnitogorsk, Yekaterinburg, Chelyabinsk, Tumen, Perm, Kirov, Vologda, Old Rusa, Old Ladoga, Novgorod the Great, Pskov, Ivan Goros, Kaliningrad, Vyborg, Izhevsk, uh, and many, many more. I feel we know you do a great job, Sergey. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying because I love, I love like uh, having something else. Whenever I can, I'm always bringing you something else. Barb Filer High, Petro Pavlovsk, Magadan, Anade. No. No, no. So this is at the bar. This is bar. Another pretty great jazz place. Jazz place. I also was taking you there, but today we go to another place. Okay. It is a noisy river. Yes, Petrozavodsk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. New McDonald's is actually like it's our uh, inside joke that another Magadan, Petropavlovsk. It's like the guys loves asking me. When Magadan, when Anadir, when Petropavlovsk, when Vladivostok. And uh, look, joke in what? The thing is, it's like the most distant places. And uh, recently I still had a problem to reach them because it's like, it's all about, it's all about the budget. It's all about the money. And uh, what's really interesting that this is something we're asking the guys who actually never, ever supported my uh, uh, road trips, okay? And they are actually like all the time pushing me and asking, when we got done? When Petropavlovsk, Kamchatka? Okay. Mr. Metsula, for your after dinner dessert. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Metsula. Okay, now you see, now you will see the reason why Vladimirsky Prospect called Vladimirsky Prospect. You see, this is Our Lady of Vladimir Church. And here is awesome bell, bell tower. Oh yeah. Vladimirsky. So we came from there, from Nevsky Prospect. Anna Titan, welcome to the club. Thank you for joining the membership. This is really something what helps more things to happen. More things to happen on the channel. of Vladimir. Okay, gotta turn to Rubenstein Street now. And uh, through Rubenstein, we'll get to Five Corners, the place known as Five Corners. From there to Lomonosov Street, through Lomonosov Bridge, and we'll be there. 
be there right in time. I love coming somewhere right in time. I don't like to be late and I don't like coming too early. Anna Titan, thank you. I really love this tour. The snow makes our Christmas season more Christmas. You're welcome. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, tomorrow, maybe not that interesting uh, live stream for you guys because it will be all about hockey. I will go to the Ice Palace of St. Petersburg uh, and uh, just will stream the game. But I'm excited about it because I was into hockey since nine years old. I am from Ufa. I was born in Ufa and raised in Ufa. And Ufa is a very hockey city. And uh, two times the playoff winner of uh, KHL. Here it is called Gagarin Cup. So it's analog of Stanley Cup. Yeah, Gagarin Cup. I think it's a. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty great name. It's great that they dedicated it to Gagarin because look, Gagarin, he's definitely one of the uh, most significant people of Russia, persons of Russia, the first cosmonauts ever. And uh, the second reason is that uh, the very first, the very first flight into the space was uh, in April 1961 and uh, this is exactly when the games the, the final the final games of playoffs of KHL happens so you see here is like a double meaning double meaning so Gagarin itself himself as the personality really like worth to be named after uh, to, and uh, that's his first flight into the space was in April and that's when in KHL the final games of playoffs comes okay meanwhile Rubenstein Street by the way Rubenstein Street now turned to be uh, paid the uh, paid streets paid parking yesterday yesterday at December 1 71 more streets in St. Petersburg got into the zone of paid parking and uh, this is actually the practice the practice of uh, getting all the historical center under the paid parking it's everywhere it's in Moscow and it's in the uh, like all uh, historical European towns and in Moscow it's actually works it's actually works so now people are really like uh, thinking twice before they want to get to the historical city center by car this is one of the ways to motivate people to use the public transportation and not to use the car just uh, for a small reason in the historical city center where just uh, physically you can do nothing with this but physically the space is limited Tom Brady go to KHL game. Hey Tom, are you deaf? Are you deaf? That's what I was just talking about. That tomorrow I go to KHL ga game. Are you freaking deaf? Are you freaking deaf? You tell me. Hello, Judy Butterfield, Brian and B. Hi, everybody. Cosmin Lazar. Hi, hi, guys. Seven forty-two. Only eighteen minutes. 
to the beginning of the performance of uh, Forrest Gump and Uncle Misha concert. But I think we'll be there in like 10 minutes. So we are pretty much in a good timing. So the place which is called Five Corners, it's pretty known place. It's just ge geographical place because it's just uh, it's just literally five corners. It's the uh, place where intersect Rubinstein, Zagrodny Prospect, what I can translate like suburban, suburban avenue. Yes, it used to be the suburbs back in the days. Razjezhe, it's also suburb avenue and Lomonosov Street. Lomonosov, one of the most significant Russian scientists in 18th century. Yeah, enough to say that he founded the Moscow State University, which is now named after him. And this is uh, the best university in Russia. The couriers are riding the bicycles, even in the snow and on ice. Lomonosov Street and uh, some later I will have something to show to Ralph Palmgren. Ralph, you remember Ralph, right? I wonder if he is now watching, but he if he is now not watching, then it's just bad for him. Sergey, did you say you used to do the hockey play-by-play -play for radio station in Ufa? Oh, I used to be the hockey reporter and I was making the overalls, but it wasn't play-by-play -play, and it wasn't the radio station, but TV station, local TV station, the channel called U UTV. Uh, soon we must meet. Uh, Ronald, goddamn cheapskate Ronald. Hello, Maria Z. Yeah. It's, 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 it's pretty bad that Ralph Palmgren is not watching now because I have something for him. Damn it. Damn it. So there's already the embankment of Fontanka River and that's where we go. The embankment of Fontanka River House 59.
Okay, and now this is something what I had for Ralph. Tsar Alexander II. Alexander II. That's the Emperor of Russia and the Emperor of Rolf. Alexander II Romanov. But oh well, oh well. Bad for Rolf. Arna Titan. The architecture is just stunning. That's correct. Okay, I told you that we will walk through uh, Lomonosov Street, then we'll walk through Lomonosov Bridge, and that's how we'll get to the uh, embankment of uh, Fantanka River. Look, again, got to the red light. So the Noisy River restaurant is already here. You see? It's actually one of, one of not many Soviet buildings here in the historical city center of St. Petersburg where mostly 18th, 19th century architecture. But this is the Soviet building. It's the publishing house. It used to be the publishing house for many St. Petersburg newspapers in the Soviet days. Or to be exact, Leningrad newspapers. Leningrad, that's how St. Petersburg was called in the Soviet days. Just for you not to forget. Okay, this is Fontanka River. Yeah, only like five minutes and we're there. Good timing. Alamanos of Bridge. Look, uh, Fontanka River is kind of wide, wide. And for this reason, we still we, st we see it's not frozen. It's not like, let's say, Krukov Canal or Grybayedov Canal. For the reason Grybayedov Canal is like uh, smaller. And Krukov Canal, we saw that, let's say yesterday, we saw that Krukov Canal already f looks like pretty frozen. There's an architect Karl Rossi street, the most symmetrical street in, in Russia. I used to show you that. Okay, Fantanka River. Fantanka. Nine minutes to go. Hello everybody who just joined. This is Baklikov Live. Today going to Noisy River music restaurant again. It's been a while, like really while. Maybe a, like 10 months. Almost a year since we went there. And now we go again to listen to some blues from the band called Forrest Gump and there together with them will be Uncle Misha the guy they collaborate with for 15 years the Soviet building here is now business center it used to be the publishing house for the newspapers of Leningrad back in the Soviet days. Now here is a business center and here the Noisy River restaurant. I've got the table in the first row for us, like closer to the scene stage.
So this is the restaurants, music restaurants, blues, jazz, soul, every day here. Well, today blues. And this is Bolshoi Dramaticzki Theater, the Bolshoi Drama Theater or Grand Drama Theater. It's one of the most significant drama theaters. In St. Petersburg. By the way, right after the uh, renovation it was under renovation for about a year or so now they finished the renovation and uh, the theater opened the doors i don't know how it is now but yet several ago several years ago here was one actress who started to work here yet before the revolution yeah like she's really old but still they were finding their roles for her And now we probably must meet um, Ronald. We have six minutes yet. Do you recognize this 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 muzzle? <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, noisy river. Look, noisy river. Noisy river. Music restaurant. Let's get in. You see the list every day. Rasta. Да. Это снова мы. Мы здесь ранее уже приходили. Да. Сейчас, сейчас я. Где-то билеты здесь лежат. No, no, it's tickets, tickets. Uh, tickets? Yeah. Это, это справа, самые близкие к сцене. Да. А? No, she won't. Да, да. Okay, we need to release the clothes. Yeah. 
спасибо. I hated that after the head. My hair is all smashed. Yes, it's also <laughs> smashed here. Okay, look, we came right in time. Two minutes to begin. Here we've got the menu and bar cards. So this is like the really restaurant. In different, let's say from the head bar. Yeah, like here in tables and uh, something to eat. It's not only to drink. Expensive. Ronald, he decided not even look at the menu. No, I did. It's not too bad. Yeah, salad that, with tuna. That, that Sizzler place, that was Asian, ridiculous. Asian, Asian salad with uh, tomatoes. Salads, Greek salads, caprese, quinoa and kitch, uh, chicken <laughs> kitchen, uh, hot appetizers like uh, tartal tar 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 profit rolls pate hot appetizers soups hot dishes like steak steak ribeye minion steak different kinds of steak this is a lamb loin duck breast salmon fillet pasta spaghetti ravioli with shrimp mangal it's like brazier Shashlik barbecue. It's like mostly pork uh, shashlik pizza. Desserts. Okay, look, it's uh, eight o'clock in Saint Petersburg, and they are about to begin bar card. Okay, white wine, red wine, sparkling wine, ro. Uh, uh, Pink wine, Jerez Porto, beer, martini, cognac, rum, tequila, gin, whiskey, Scotland whiskey, American whiskey, uh, vodka, liquor, and uh, alcohol cocktails like Aperol Spritz, Long Island iced tea, margarita, Bloody Mary, Mojito. Negroni, Negroni Sbagliato, non-alcohol cocktails, hot cocktails like Glint wine, and here is just non-alcohol drinks, uh, juice, cola, coffee, tea, homemade tea, okay. So you think it's not too bad? I mean, I've, yeah, I mean, I've... Worse. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, well, this is not the fancy restaurant. This is the restaurant for those who love music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that place I, I took that uh, Russian teacher, that place was expensive. What's your real name? Prices aren't too bad. Oh yeah, by the, by the way, let me tell you the price. Let's say uh, the tuna salad is um, like seven bucks. Uh, Asian salads with tomatoes, it's uh, 450. Caprese, 
seven bucks. Uh, steak, mignon steak. It's like about twenty bucks. the cheapest prices but this is at the restaurant okay however it's not the most fancy prices was there a cover charge to get in here were those tickets free or were those tickets free or was there a cover charge uh, the ticket was 800 rubles which is like 11 bucks for both of them no, each. Oh, wow. But that's because it goes with the reserve of the table. Oh, okay. So you can get cheaper, but let's say there. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And also you can come here by day, mm -hmm. when here is no band. Michael, thank you for 20 bucks at Simi Diakonov from Diakonov's family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, from me, from Baklikov, and from Baklikov family as well. I'm sure that now Albina and Victoria watching this and they are also glad. Hello, Mikhail Bensman. The peacekeepers. Oh, the keep peacekeepers, I remember you. You are that motherfucker who taught me, taught me how to drink a freaking Guinness, okay? I remember you. What a mofo you used to be. Like, you used to complain that I never left the foam uh, Guinness to settle down. What the hell? I like it when the foam is not settled down. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I gotta watch what they're saying. Hi, Chess Brown. So, uh, Yesenia, the girl from Voronezh, contacted you again. And now she probably wanna scam you, <laughs> right? Yeah, well she, uh, I don't know. I'm not going back down there again. Yeah, when she, you know, when she said, oh, sorry, I blocked you yesterday, I was drunk, you know, it's like you just got out of rehab, right? So it's like, well, I don't need her. Well. Now she's saying come back to Voronezh again yeah. and rent the apartment yeah. Yeah. and uh, she's like showing which one exactly yeah, yeah. and that apartment is like 35,000 rubles per month which is, which is like 500 free... no it's not that much it's almost 500 yeah, yeah. but also deposit so it's like yeah, yeah. 500 plus 500 yeah. and yet maybe she will say that you have to right. pay the commission to the agent yeah, yeah. so in the very end she gonna scam you like in the very final for about one thousand one thousand two hundred fifty bucks yeah, yeah, she would have scam you possible. yeah it's possible it's Let's... most probably it's yeah. most probably <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So, I mean, odds are the same thing would happen again. You know? So I'm not going down there. But Nadia, she's, she's, Nadia thinking, is, she's thinking you're a uh, desperate. No. I've got I meeting. Mean, I've actually got two dates tomorrow here. Wow. But I'm going to probably stand up, Nadia. Nadia ugly. So ugly, ugly. She came all the way here from Nadia. Yeah, so, they, okay, so finally we have found her name, Nadia. Yeah. So ugly is Nadia. No, she was, she was like, I asked, I asked her, 
because she's coming tomorrow. She's riding a train all the way from Tbilisi, right? So uh, I said, do you have a place to stay? And she says, yes, because if she didn't, I was going to rent or something, something, a hotel room or something. She asked, well, where are you staying? I said, well, I'm renting a room. She said, oh, you're in, in a communal apartment? I go, I go, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, so she's probably thinking. Was he still with the queen of the He was still. Давайте вот его. Да, я пока поменю еще подумаю. Ну сейчас я посмотрю еще. Пока вот начну с пива. What will you drink? I will drink Nitro Stout. Okay. What else? Let me see the bill. Maybe something out of food. Yeah. I will order food later. Sorry. I will decide about food later. Yeah. Hello, Ophelia Balls. Hello, Chris Dream. Atom Bomb 31458. Jeff Smith. Sweating Sausage. So, so anyway, <laughs> so she's thinking, what the hell? This guy's living in a in a communal apartment, you know? <laughs> yeah, Nadia, she was surprised. He's living in a very cheap room in a communal apartment. I didn't bother explaining. She to still, her. she still never got it. Uh, Ronald is a cheapskate, yeah. proud cheapskate. I'm, I'm, I'm there by, I'm, I'm by myself. I don't need to, I don't need more than that. I mean. Barb Filer is asking, I thought you didn't like Guinness wrong. Well, it's not Guinness, it's Nitro Stout, but still it's Stout. Yeah. So... It was easier just to do that than to make a choice, you know? It's like... Okay, he, he just doesn't want to bother himself, like, uh, making all that choices. So, and then uh, this other person, going to be interesting. So I don't know. I, I think uh, I don't know. she came all the way from Tbilisi. I better meet with her. I hope maybe some something finally will working out for you tomorrow. I, you know, I just I don't uh, my priorities are really have changed. Anna Titan, see you. Have a great time. Look, so um, the Forest Gump blues band, one of the most prominent blues bands in St. Petersburg. The guys who are playing a classic old school blues finally getting to the stage, okay? And together with them, Uncle Misha. I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, they delay already for like 11 minutes, okay? I was worried that we're getting late, but they actually getting late already for 12 minutes. Hi, Nancy Estella. The Smoking GS. More, more likely another scammer. It's more likely another opportunist, right? Who? Nadia, Nadia. Um, you know, no, I don't think so. I mean, she's coming here. <laughs> well, at least she's coming here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she, I mean, she's been hounding me for a really long time. Uh, uh, that's how being consistent no. sometimes really pays off. I mean, how many times you, vice versa, you blocked her 
and you was telling that you're actually not that interested right. but she kept contacting you and right. finally right. she got the momentum when mm -hmm. finally you're gonna break up with Yesenia who fucked you up and so that's how finally you're meeting her David Lamp is thinking. <laughs> no, I, well, I'll tell you right now, it's uh, it's not possible. It's not possible anyway, even if I wanted to. Tanka River, and we've got our styles. Чуть позже вот сейчас начнут играть, я буду изучать.
Спасибо. Добрый вечер, дамы и господа. Рад вас приветствовать в этом замечательном джазовом ресторане. У нас сегодня вечер блюза. И с вами Форест Гам Блюз Бэнд и дядя Миша. Для нашей программы выбираем самые зажигательные, самые танцевальные, самые позитивные блюзовые произведения. И э, произведение называлось Хайби Вэй, а следующее произведение называется Шизуан. Единственное, с кем не хорошо. Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't tell me you. 
спасибо. Я даже не могу назвать ее сладкой, потому что... Мало какой блюз обходится без темы неприятностей, трудностей и так далее. Но среди этих произведений мне больше всего нравятся те произведения, которые, в которых об этих неприятностях поется через э, смысл э, иронии. Через иронию. Она мне говорит, что она моя и только моя. Но это знаю я. От А до Я. You're back in the wrong tree. Считай. Считай. 
Ироничное произведение называется «Си, Си, Бэби». Она мне сказала неправду, но я больше не верю в ее слова. Вот это да, да? One, two,
Спасибо. Трудно верить. Не любить. It hurt to be in love называется следующее произведение. You feel like home? You feel like home? You feel like home? Home? You, do you feel like home? Do I feel like home? No, not really. <laughs> Некоторые считают, что вообще блюз, он же, поскольку переводится и происходит от словосочетания Blue Devils, то есть тоска зеленая, но в данном случае голубая, неважно. Итак, произведение произведение Билла Визерса, которое называется Эйни Санчес.
Forrest Gump, Vitaly Silantev, gitara. Awesome blues, awesome blues. Константин Кувайцев, ударная. Саксофон, дядя Миша. Бас, гитара и лидер вокал Василий Ковалев. Но прежде чем мы уйдем на антракт, мы исполним произведение Джона Ли Хукера, которое называется «Хаги Сквизи». Несмотря на все трудности, я готов сделать все, чтобы любить тебя.
know what to do Got so much to believe, don't know what to do Dudes, you love it. You love this set. It's okay. That was a really great set of blues music, dudes. Big sign. Big sign. So this was the band called Forest Gum, yeah, like that movie with Tom Hanks. Uh, and Uncle Misha, Uncle Misha on saxophone. This is a lamp on a bone. Pretty tasty. Some nitro stout. Jude? Yeah. You're all the time in your freaking phone. <laughs> You had to wash your hands first. Yeah, I wash my hands. Have an interesting meeting tomorrow. What? I'm going to have an interesting meeting tomorrow. Good, good. Yeah. And I will go to uh, Hot again. I think your audience wants to look at me for the next while you're eating. Why don't you turn it on yourself? <laughs> No, 
I don't think that my audience want to see you. Actually, you annoying. You annoy most of my audience. Uh, from time to time, many even telling me like, hey, hey, stop, stop showing this motherfucker, you know. <laughs> like, we really fed up with him. <laughs> This fucking chip skates, that's what they tell me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the lamp on a bone was good together with french fries. But now I actually was more chip skate than Ronald's. Because this was like 700 rubles and your steak was like 1500 rubles. Yeah. I, I think that you need to order one more beer. Because I don't want to, to drink Not, the next one alone. Let's go to, let's go to Stirk and have it out. Oh, dude. yeah. This place well, is too first off, first off, um, it will take it will take a while. Well, we can go to Circa, and I'm not gonna go Circa today. We're gonna finish at like 10, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Maybe one more, one more, one more. Yeah. I, I really don't want any more. One more, one more, together with me. Uh, all right. Еще по одному нитро. Barb Feiler thinking that I I should have you with me at least once a week. She's she's thinking. Yeah, but I'm gonna be gone soon. Yeah, people love people love his stories about the girls. Okay, the yeah, girls I, who I, gets I, him in trouble all the time. Yeah. I'm focusing. I'm focusing on more important things. And that's actually my meeting tomorrow has to do with that. The person I'm meeting with. And I might just skip my day with Nadia. Because the other uh, the other meeting is going to be much more important. And it has nothing to do with uh, having a good time. <laughs> But I can't talk about it. We can see him twisting her. Yeah, dude, I. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for another beer, to be honest, but. Sergey can't drink alone, so he's forcing me to have one. You're on your third, right? That'll be your third. Yeah, Scott, I'm not sure uh, where I'm gonna be. It depends on how this meeting goes tomorrow because I'm actually uh, planning on possibly going somewhere else. So. And you guys will find out once I get there. Yeah, there you go, cheaper. <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking, I'm gonna probably end up picking up the tab, but it's like, like seven bucks a beer. Some really nice old school classic blues. the uh, Noisy River Music Restaurants. Hello MM and uh, hello once again to everyone, everybody who listen, uh, who watching and listening today. My name is Sergey Baklakov, this is Baklakov Live. But actually we, took, we, we did a great thing today. What was that? We did a great, great thing. Today by day, together with Ronalds, we went to the store where uh, 
I purchased this th the thing and uh, Ronald shared the price. So he's really supporting the channel. Uh, it's something for the house music DJ stream. An extra feature, an extra thing that you guys gonna enjoy. Maybe. Maybe. They will enjoy this. Yeah. If they are not the motherfuckers, they will enjoy this. I personally think you'd be better off with a, a girl dancing in the background. For fuck's sake, well, I will have Sony girl dancing. It will be my wife's cousin, Liana. She will, she will dance. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find something better than that. Dude, dude. Now, okay, I'll tell you who might be. Uh, what's her name? Dude, dude. Anyway, I don't, I, I don't want to attract more viewers to my house music stream just because of the girls dancing. Okay, but because of the uh, music and compilation itself. Check this out. Dude, people are not stupid. They understand this is just LED light. <laughs> How long do you think I can hold it there? You're not a freaking Jesus. You're, it's, it's just LED. LED, okay. It's LED lighting. Come on, people are not stupid. Are you stupid? I said now, I just said that you are not stupid. And you understand that this is the LED light. That this is just some kind of, like, it, it's not the real, it's not the real fire, okay? I said to him that you are not that stupid. Are you? Are you not that stupid or you're a, or you're, you're a dumb? By the way, look. <laughs> Neil McDonald, uh, he's saying that he's stupid. Looks real to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think from the, from the video, it probably looks real. Yeah, maybe on the video, maybe from the distance. But in real, it's not. miss 3-1 yes we're not so you're not stupid okay okay that's good that's good you know mcdonald is a dumb mofo yeah dude i know i know same as me I'm really looking forward for the second part of today's concerts. These guys are really, they are really good. They're really good. I love the sound here. The sound is really good. And uh, Ronald even told me that he's like, you told me that you, uh, you were suffering. You were suffering. Yeah, the my sound. Ears. Yeah, you, you better, you better sit, sit down yeah. on the, on the next chair. Okay. So, Big speakers are like right there. Yeah. So the sound is really good, really loud, literally really clear, and uh, together with the great musicians, it's the main thing. Great musicians, 
and uh, just a great acoustics, great sound system. That's all we need. And that guy, the vocalist, and the Uncle Misha on his saxophone, they are great. Lynn is being uh, sarcastic. Who? Lynn. I think she's being sarcastic. Lynn more quick. Uh, Ronald thinking that you're uh, sarcastic. <laughs> senial dead, high senial. Senial. So today we're listening to some blues. Tomorrow we will go to the hockey game, KHL hockey game. St. Petersburg hockey club, which is called Ska, meeting Jokerit from Finland. such a nice place it's a music restaurant called noisy river it is like here it's on the embankment of Fantanka river in st petersburg and uh, the music here sounds every freaking day look at this lineup let me show you the lineup yeah no matter monday it is or saturday the music here all the time look like, uh, for example, today here is a Forrest Gump and Uncle Misha, tomorrow Legendario, uh, then on Saturday Pro Cuban, on Sunday Old Oyster Bands, Vovo Cho Morale and Sweetheart Jazz Bands, Trio Easy Tone, I was taking you to Easy Tone, yeah, three awesome girls singing, um, like 1940s, 1950s, his atomic jam bands, Spencer's Latina music, Legendary again, Pro Cuban again, Old Oyster bands, two own two saxophone quartets, Travelers Club, Anna Sukhavichenko and Brown Sun. Yeah, like you see, some bands are like the real residents here, like uh, perform here every week or two weeks. Alex Prof band, well, that's the guys I also filmed here. Alex Prof band and uh, Trio Easy Tone. Well, look, Forrest Gump and Uncle Misha will perform here on almost a New Year's night at the 30th of December. Okay, more beer. You hear me? More beer. Is this where three girls sang last time you were here? Yes, that was trio Easy Tone. Easy Tone. The girls were pretty good. I won't be here tomorrow for the hockey game. I have a meeting. Bad for you, bad for you.
We are really looking forward for the return of uh, Uncle Misha and Forrest Gump band. What about the music streams? Uh, well, tomorrow is the hockey, but after tomorrow on Saturday, already traditional house music Saturday night's uh, live stream. I will play the most interesting house tracks. We little by little already got to the year 2005. Yeah, mostly I will play the tracks released in 2005 or around this. And uh, I will have even one more technical feature recently spent $300 just for that little improvement I will have on my stream because I want I want you to enjoy the streams even more the guys are getting back to the stage which is pretty cool Time for me to get a haircut. Sergey, right here, right now. Yeah, it's uh, Fat Boy Slim, right here, right now. Okay, once again, this is St. Petersburg, Russia, the embankment of Fantanka River, the historical city center of St. Petersburg. Here is the restaurant, music restaurant, which is called Noisy River. It is considered as the restaurants where they are playing jazz, blues, and soul music. Every day, you saw the lineup yourself, every day. Here is somebody perform, and uh, today, at the 2nd of December 2021, here perform uh, one of the most prominent blues bands in St. Petersburg, like cover bands. Um, it is called Forest Dump. Yes, like you know, Tom Hanks in that movie. Forest Gump and Uncle Misha. Uncle Misha, uh, who playing the saxophone. They are great, they are great. And uh, today we are enjoying this together with Ronald. Hey dude, hey dude. Hey what? Dude. Chin chin, cheers. Some stout. Okay, for your help. Прекрасно, 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 я вам скажу. Ну что ж, вы готовы продолжить слушать? Но прежде чем мы продолжим исполнять замечательные блюзовые произведения, в этом зале есть традиция поздравлять с юбилеями, с днями рождения, со всякими праздниками людей. Я вполне понимаю, что здесь действительно очень комфортно, и администрация всегда приветствует и поздравляет непосредственно людей, которые что-то здесь празднуют. Итак, 
Здесь происходит это каждый день. Сегодняшний день не исключение. Сегодня день рождения празднует Светлана. Елена. Игорь. И Елена.
Спасибо. If you love me like you say, называется следующее произведение. Если ты не говоришь, что ты меня любишь, почему ты стоишь? Sometimes he seems grumpy, but he really, he really, he really kind.
Спасибо. Ну, а в следующем произведении туристичный мужчина просит послать ему ту, которую он будет любить. Please send me someone to love. Our third one. Thank you all guys. Thank you. Мне будет очень тяжело начать. Поверьте. Тогда не начинай.
Спасибо. Ну а в следующем произведении оптимистичный мужчина. Желание его исполняется. Потому что оно называется, следующее произведение называется I've got a woman. I got a woman is the next. I got a woman. I got a woman. Well, I got a woman way out of town. Спасибо. Между прочим, это произведение было написано, я буквально сегодня прочитал, что именно сегодня, 2 декабря, но 54 -го года было записано произведение Гудлоу. Я очень люблю произведение Рейчелза, поэтому следующее произведение тоже написал Рейчелз, называется она Kiss Me. Окей, Kiss Me from Rachel's now. It's coming here. Да, действительно, поправка от дяди Миши, он ничего не писал, он, он же был слепой, поэтому да, действительно, он гениально сочинял музыку. Поехали.
Сейчас. Раз, два, три, четыре. Еще одно произведение uh, Рэй Чарльза, но исполним его вместе с вами. Uh, я попрошу вас uh, на протяжении всего произведения хлопать в ладони uh, слабый У нас uh, есть в зале, кто учился музыке have, или учился танцем? Есть. Даже Значит, будет наша поддержка, поддержка и опора. Uh, остальные пытаемся попадать. Остальные уходите. Попадать одновременно с малым барабаном. У Кости 8, 8 инструментов у тебя. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь. Ну ладно, ты уж не раскрывай все тайны, ты что скажешь? Да? 8 инструментов. Больше. Да? Больше. Но две руки, две ноги. Хватит. Хватит?
Там есть малый барабан, он звучит достаточно ярко. Ваша задача хлопать одновременно с малым барабаном. Когда мы будем останавливаться, продолжайте хлопать. Спасибо. Форест Гам, Блюз Бэнд, Виталий Силантьев, гитара. Константин Кувальцев, ударная. Саксофон, дядя Миша. И Василий Ковалев, бас-гитара, лидер вокал. Ну давайте мы уже в завершении нашего вечера что-нибудь споем вместе. Do the music with the 
Спасибо, что были с нами. Для вас играла группа Forest Gun Blues Band Виталий Силантьев, Дядя Миша, Константин Кувальцев и Василий Ковалев. Спасибо, друзья. Если у вас есть видео или фото с этого выступления, наверняка есть. Удалите! Мы будем признательны, если вы пришлете либо мне, либо вот на нашу страничку ВКонтакте. Да, спасибо. Форест Гамп и дядя Миша. Спасибо. Хорошего вам настроения, будьте счастливы, будьте здоровы и до новых встреч.
Everybody's already realized this is just a freaking LED. LED. Okay, so the guys uh, finished the performance today. This was Forrest Gump Blues Band since 1999 in St. Petersburg and Uncle Misha. Uncle Misha is uh, that uh, guy with a saxophone. They were really good. They were really good. I enjoyed this. Hey, 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 hey. That's actually that's actually sax man. That's sax man. Yes, but but he, he's not wearing his blanket. Yeah. When he comes here, he's not wearing his blanket. That's that's sax man. Yeah, but not that, that sax man from uh, Winter Yeah, yeah, Palace. that's him. That's him. That's sax no, man. No, yes. No, no, no. Dude. No, for fuck's that's sake. Him. No, no, for fuck's up, sake that's him. No, shut up, man. That's not. him. No. He comes out. He you're takes his, delusional. No, he takes his blanket off when he comes no, here. No, you're delusional. No, dude, that, that's you're delusional. Right. You're delusional. You you love conspiracy theories. You love conspiracy theories. So theory. How is it a conspiracy theory? Dude, the conspiracy theory it's requires it's more than him. one person. Okay, Look, this is something that I know all by myself. I know Look, that that's. I man. saw that guy and I've heard his vo voice, and he used to shout at me like crazy. And here, he don't care. Everybody shouts at you like crazy. No, no. Sergey, it's Saxman. No, he's a Saxman, but not Saxman from uh, Winter he's, Palace. He's Saxman. Damn, dude, dude. Uh, you're delusional. No, you're delusional. You are delusional. <laughs> Maybe one more? No, no. Okay, все на этом. Все на этом. Оплатить хотелось бы. Оплатить, оплатить. Да. Okay. I will. Ah, Sergey, he's pulling your leg. Are you pulling my leg? <laughs> he's saying that he's not, but I know he is. He actually loves doing this. He loves. He loves pulling my leg. What a mofo. You know, after three uh, stouts, I need to go to WC, WC. I then will go to WC. Ronald on drugs? Are you on drugs? No, uh, if I could find some drugs, I'd be on them though. Okay. Yeah, if I could find some. Iron R telling me that Sergey, I have to go. Great music. Okay. Uh, see you. See you. Uh, most probably uh, after tomorrow because it seems like you're not gonna care about the hockey. Tomorrow is the hockey. Because I keep bringing you the uh, widest variety of the contents. So today it's uh, just uh, blues in the music restaurants. Tomorrow it will be the hockey. And after tomorrow it will be the house music. Dude. Okay, I will go to WC. And while I go to WC, I will leave you with this freaking weird guy with a uh, freaking Ronalds with a with a motherfucker he's a motherfucker actually but he's a he's ours motherfucker okay <laughs> yeah yeah guess what I'm the motherfucker that gets to pick up the tab for tonight I will go to WC. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> so, so all you motherfuckers that didn't contribute to the super chat, guess what? I, I'm I'm paying the expenses for this uh, for this live stream. <laughs>
And those of you that did contribute, great. But Sergey, how many how many uh, stouts do you have? Like four. Yeah. That's hard for a tight one like me. But honestly, I'm not going to be doing too many more of these. Ooh. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing too many more of these because because uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to be probably leaving town pretty soon, and I'm not going to Verona, if that's what you guys are thinking. It'll be a surprise. Say, so watch this. Watch this. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. didn't come tonight actually I was I was not I was not like in an awesome mood to be honest with you see but oh, that's actually not too bad that's, really that's actually less than I thought it was gonna be Yeah, and then I then I bought him his. I helped him buy his slider today. Only fifty bucks. Yeah, it's not too bad. I helped him buy a slider today too. But you know what, Sergey? There's something you can do for me maybe tomorrow. I'll tell you about it later. So let's go home. Yes. Come on, dudes. Let's go to the exit. Exit. Noisy River restaurants. We had a great time here. I don't know what about Ronald, but I had a great time. I started feeling better towards the end. Honestly, in the beginning, the noise was getting to me. So I sat back here. But actually, you're kind of delusional. I'm delusional? Yeah, I mean, like, Ronald is saying that he was sitting here, yeah, well, here. It was, I was sitting there. It was, like, too loud. But for 40 minutes, he never managed to see it at least here. Well, because when I was sitting only, here, only I could turn my head. I could turn my head so that it wasn't going directly into my ears. Look, but, but only only after I told you those, that you can speakers, sit here. Those speakers were fucking. You said those here. speakers were fucking were fucking reverberating right off my eardrums. Okay. It's like holy shit. So it's like when I moved, it was a little bit better. Okay, so noisy river, music restaurants, sunshine girl, sunshine girl, sunshine girl. Thank you for super chat. Cheers. Oh, are you starting your own channel still? Are you starting your own channel still? Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. Do you mean Ronald as, uh, starting his channel? Yes, he is. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Uh, you might see some really interesting videos in another month or two. I, I'm not gonna tell you where they're gonna be from, but it's gonna be very, very different than what you guys have been seeing. So, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be some very different stuff. And I'm having a meeting with someone tomorrow. And if it all goes well, then I'm going to have access to some place that not too many people get to go. Okay, let's go to get our coats. Yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Спасибо. This was an awesome music night. Thanks to Forrest Gump and Uncle Misha. Мы здесь уже третий раз. Мы были на Алекс Проф, на Трио Изи Тон. I met that I met that that short black haired dude. What? And that short black haired dude. Short black haired dude. Uh -huh. That's actually five and five nine. Five nine. <laughs> five nine. That's that's average, right? Right? <laughs> I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Five feet you, you don't know 176 centimeters. You understand okay. that? Yeah, no worries. No okay. worries. Okay, you understand that, dumbass? I understand. <laughs> now we understand. <laughs> okay, whatever. But, 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 but he's, how, how tall are you? 189. Yeah, see, he's, he's a lot, he's, t he's tall, you know. And actually, and actually, most Russians are taller than Americans on average. That's, that's a fact. So, right? Right, that's right. Yeah. Okay, dudes, Noisy River Music Restaurant, the live concerts here every single day. No matter Monday, Saturday, or Sunday, or Tuesday, no matter. The embankment of Fontanka River, House 59. If you will be in St. Petersburg and will want some blues soul or jazz welcome here to a uh, freaking noisy river okay dudes thank you for watching today my name is sergey baklakov this is ronald godier ronald godier uh, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we go to the hockey game. Hockey game. K H. Not me. I'm not going. <laughs> yes, he's not going not. because he is. Uh, I'm not a sports fan. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I would go see like maybe an MMA match or something like that, but yeah. Okay, yeah. Hockey. I'm not. But I go to the hockey continental hockey league. Uh, Saint Petersburg's ska playing against Jok Jokerit from Finland. Okay, okay, in the end, the traditional panorama uh, on the embankment of Fontanka River. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. See you. Say see you. Someone left a bottle. Why you raise it? <laughs> Demons, you're like a little kid. Okay, <laughs> see you guys. Okay, see you guys. Say, see you guys. Okay, so Miss Three One, Natalia Panfilova Zuino, Sunshine Girl, Barb Filer. You can't make a goddamn snowball. This is not a shit. This is snow. You can't even make a fucking snowball. This is a snow. This is a snow. Uh, Maria Z, Barb Filer, the Phil we know, Nicole April. Jose Badon, Brianna B, King Nero. Oleg Dushakov. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Julia Butterfield, Trev Mack. Барри Брин, Нил Макдоналд, Шелли Васкис, Санчан Герл, Акшай Синг, Синг, Дучмен,
Okay, from St. Petersburg, from the embankment of Fontanka River, the music restaurant called Noisy River, from Sergey Baklakov, from Ronald's The Cheapskate, from Baklakov Life with Love. Hey, hey, see you tomorrow! Tomorrow! <laughs> tomorrow! <laughs>